Hello, hello, my squires and slimes. Welcome back to another commentary. Today we'll be playing the new Twisted Fate. He was recently buffed. Um, I'm playing the setup of a guy on EU West called Crossman, who I believe is the best Twisted Fate on EU West, just full stop. I used to play quite a lot against him back in Season 8, it must have been. And he was just... I always struggled playing against him. He has crazy good movement. He just plays the game very, very well, and he's very good at playing solo queue. Do I think he's as good in competitive? No, not really. But I think he's a very skilled solo queue player, so that's why I'll be I'll be stealing his setup. His setup very much so relies on uh, on tempo and on controlling the map and getting early advantage. Well, not early advantages, but he, the way his TF plays or his setup plays out, as you can see, I'm running dead, right? Which obviously usually will mean that uh wait actually let me close down uh overwolf first just to make sure i'm not getting lag but i'm running dead and i'm running um ghost and i'm running treasure hunter which is probably gonna mean that you will be sacking quite a lot of minions in lane to try to get an advantage um on the map and you will not fall behind even if you go down in cs because you have your passive you have extra gold from treasure hunter and you have extra gold from futures market so the entire idea is you just get a lot of gold and then you try to close out the game. But you you can see this is more of a supportive setup. Even though I'm not really running um, Spellbook. Reason being is you're also taking Ghost. Which is obviously a lot weaker for lane. But it's a lot better for roaming. Opens up roam opportunities. Uh, we're playing TF into Diana. Which is a pretty bad matchup if I'm not mistaken. Diana can probably fist fight me at around level 3. So I have to be a bit careful of that. I don't know if I want to push the wave. I probably can push the wave and just be fine. I'm gonna gold cut the casters and try to clip the Diana with that gold cut. And I'll see if I can land some auto attacks on her. Probably just one, and then I have to go for last hits myself. Uh, I think I screwed up these minions. No, there we go. We got the gold cut. She's gonna queue this minion, so I just have to stand out of the way. She's gonna drop one minion at some point. There goes the first minion that she drops. So we're still building our slow push. I'm gonna just pull out a red card. Ah, oh, damn, I wanted to try to clip her. She's gonna look for a Q. Okay, there's the Q. Damn, I didn't dodge that, really? Ah, uh, she should have just jumped on me, I think. I think she had a window there where she could jump on me. Gonna take my E level 2, just to give myself some attack speed. I don't know what spell Diana took level 2, so I have to be a bit careful whenever she stacks her passive. Because she might have taken E, in which case she can just QE me. And it's a bit rough for me. Yeah, dodged it. She definitely took E. J just look at the way she played it. She wanted to jump on me there. She definitely took E. Managed to get my passive proc on her. Really? Really, man? I might have to flash. I think if I don't flash, maybe I die. Oh, for some reason, I didn't think he could be there. Dude, I actually just had a jump scare in real life. From that side gank. He's gonna return gank. So I just have to make sure that I dodge that gank. Wave should... It's not great, is it? But Sack should return gank. He's probably return ganking from top side, so I have to be a bit careful here. Oh, if Pike is mid as well, then it's just a bit of a suka mucho, I think. Not much else to really say. Okay, we got our flash. It's good enough. Don't know where Sack is. I mean, my wave is good as well. Oh, whoops. Pulling out my in-ears. Pike is still bot lane. Is she gonna leave this freeze? There's no way, right? This would be insane. She's just gonna leave the freeze? Well, I will actually stay in lane here. I could recall. Um, but I think what I will do is I will keep this freeze. And I will probably hope that we can uh, we can get a gank on her when she comes back into the lane. But she's gonna have a very poor wave state here. I need to thin out the wave a little bit. Now, I could also recall here and just come back even with her. Um, in terms of having spent my gold, but I would rather actually get a bigger base and a better wave state for my uh, level 6 roam, ideally. So I want to reset on as much gold as possible, and I want to make sure she's as behind as possible. Like, what is she going to do with this wave state? What can you do, man? I will just trade with her. Need to whittle her down. I ideally need to not miss minions, right? Like, But, uh... <laughs> Looks like I am uh, doing my best at missing minions, which kind of sucks. I need to thin out the wave just to make sure she can't crash as easily. 
I'm gonna take my gold card here, make sure that she's a bit scared. Kill this minion. I could pop my potion and start stacking a slow push and look for a reset so I can get my recall before level 6. But I think I can stack up one more wave. And I think I'm fine. I think I will pop my potion here in case we're fighting. Just gonna pop my ghost. This guy should be dead. I think even if I don't dodge anything, he still dies. I die as well though. It's not really ideal, is it? I can get... Actually, I should take boots and uh, dark seal. And then refillable. I mean, I didn't dodge anything. Surely you're not leaving my wave like this, right? Okay, yes. Reason for boots is I'm gonna be roaming a lot, right? It's good for my ult. I could take Catalyst as well, just to get tanky and make sure that I don't die in lane. But I think the way I'm gonna be playing the lane is very non-interactive anyway. I cannot believe you left my wave like this. I mean, I should have spam pinged him to push it. I should probably just go for a roam here. There's literally nothing I can do. If this guy freezes, I am fucked. I do not get to play the game. Oh, and bot lane killed. Oh, well, I should just go for vision then. There's, there's nothing I can do. I can't enter my lane. I will just die. Look at how far up the wave is. I can, like, try to get vision on sack. That's all I can really do. And get vision in the enemy jungle. But there's, like... If I enter in this lane, and I don't have vision, there's a very high likelihood that sack is just sitting somewhere, and I will just die. With no flash. Pike could also just run straight mid. That's why I'm playing so safe here. The wave is bouncing back into me anyway, because she didn't freeze it. But I just have to sit super far back. <laughs> it feels pretty bad. I think I have to queue this minion as well. I mean, I'm trying to bait. Wait, what? Why did you show? Ay, ay, ay. I mean, maybe it works. Okay, it works. My team is just better, actually. My team is just better. I get level 6 here as well, I think, if they don't steal my XP. Maybe I can ult bot lane. I mean, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh. I still like it, actually. Kinda works. I think my Sejuani did not play that the greatest. I think I just have to leave. I was contemplating if there was a roam top lane to be made, but I was already hovering bot side too far, so I couldn't. But I think maybe there was a play to be made on the top side there. But I mean, I got my treasure hunter stack, so I can't be mad. Can I not enter this way? I feel like I can. I just pull a gold card. And then what do you do? Yeah. I was worried that she might, or I might not be able to enter that way, but... Felt pretty safe to me. I think Sack could be around mid lane, but as long as I'm hovering top side, I should be safe because I know Diana's on the bot side. I just have to stand pretty far back and use my cards to last hit, and then I'm completely fine. I don't think you kill me. This is a bit of a weird play by you. Okay, sure. I'm gonna recall anyway. Like, I wanted to reset regardless. No, no I just reset, bro. I'm completely on. There's no. Yeah, man, let me flash gold cutter. She will surely die. Like, what if Sack is there? Are you even thinking, bro? Like, if I flash gold cutter and Sack is just hovering because he's expecting a gank, we're just about dead. I just flash in and give my shutdown. Well played. I think I might be able to ghost here and just run her down, though. Uh, maybe this was a bit of a psychotic ghost. It was for sure a psychotic ghost. <laughs> Oops, uh, second pike could easily be mid lane now as well. I mean, I just have to shot, shove out my lane. Maybe I can go kill the Jax. Oh, that's a red card. Doesn't matter though. I mean, he's just out. Maybe I can Q snipe it. Oh, he lives. That sucks. I think I was a little bit late. Oh, wait, I just have bad mechanics there. Good flash by me though. Bad Q. Q here. He doesn't have anywhere to dodge. I'm pretty sure he went into passive. Oh, this is an issue. Dude, I just want the plate, man. Ooh, very good. Very good, Sejuani old. Wow, that was incredible. She's dead. Wait, she got level up! Oh no, Sejuani's dead now. Oh my god, Sejuani lives. It's a miracle. I'm gonna shove one more wave and then reset. Kind of wish Brand didn't waste the spells now. No, we're not diving this, by the way. Yeah, I mean, you can take his passive all you want, but there's like, I have nothing for you. Sadly. I don't think Brand should have ulted. I think if he holds his ult, maybe he can kill him on the passive. But it works. 
Just gonna reset because I'm completely out of mana and I have a lot of ghosts or gold. Like, I am not gonna follow these guys' plays if I don't think there's potential in it. For example, when the brand wants me to stay, I don't care how much you ping me, I, I will refuse. I think I maybe have to ult here. No, he should have this. Yeah, too good. Nice. Oh, my Q is so late, man. Dude, Brand just right clicks mid lane. <laughs> Dude, you should. Oh, okay, there's gonna be a three man mid lane. I just have to be safe. Yeah, uh, just suck as well, bro. Uh, suck as well. We don't win this. We do not win this. We do not have damage without Brand ult. I will just throw some blue cards, get some mana. Stand really far back to make sure I don't die to the sack. I have to wait for my Sajuani to come with me so we can open through mid. Because, I mean, they're just... Okay. Now Pike is bot side, so I feel a bit more comfortable walking up. This guy is so depressed. <laughs> Dude, my brand is just right-clicking mid lane on repeat. Oh, maybe I can look. Maybe there's a play. No, there's not a play. I thought maybe there was a play on the pike there. Because he walked up very aggressively. But the Kaiser didn't follow. So if Kaisa follows there, I'm definitely ulting bot lane. But Kaisa has to overextend. Because killing Pike is very unlikely, right? Because he has so much mobility. So I'm looking for the Kaisa to overextend specifically. Like I'm not really targeting the Pike unless I see him waste his E or something. I think here I can definitely look for an ult though. Look for Kaisa. Oh, very good E by the Pike, but I don't know if it matters. Terrible Sejuani ult. She actually gets out because of the Sejuani ult. Yeah, I mean, if he just held his ult, oh, this is a bad fight, I think. This is a terrible fight, I will just recall. I have nothing more. Yeah, I, this is none of my business. This is all you guys. I will be going into Lich Bane next. I could go Rapid Fire, it's not bad because of how I'm playing the game, but I think TF's AP ratios were just buffed, so I like Lich Bane. I think rapid fire is not the greatest this game either because it's all very short range right the enemy team so it's not like i need the rapid fire but it is so good for making picks and people never expect it right like that's the other thing about rapid fire people like they can't see the extra range that the rapid fire is giving you right sack is coming mid lane so i need to shove this out quickly and then run to the bots or to the top side because i saw him around the bot side of mid lane right yeah the sedrani is making some questionable plays i think I'm trying to Bait the sack to waste time mid lane here. But he's just running straight down to the bot side. Oh, that's a pike mid though. I, I will walk up very aggressively here to bait the pike in. Because I am very tanky with Rod of Ages. Like, I am very, very tanky. I don't think sack is here yet either. I mean, we can just do Herald, yeah. Sure, I don't hate this idea. I like the Herald play. If I get my push in mid lane, then I might as well just move to do something if I can't bait the enemy team. If they're not gonna go for me, I will just take an objective. Sure, I will take some control on the map. I will help take an objective and then I will return to mid lane and keep pushing. Push out mid once more. Look for probably Drake. Enemy team could be mid lane again, but I have flash up. And I'm very tanky, so I don't get one shot. Oh, whoops, that was bad gold cut. Should have been a blue cut. Yeah, I mean, I'm baiting it. Guys, I'm baiting it. I'm baiting them to come mid. Oh! Okay, well that was a DC. That kinda sucks. I think I might have to flash this. I mean, I am dealing a lot of damage, but I don't know if it's enough. Because the sack has the most broken item of all time. Radiant Virtue healed him for eight fucking million and I just DC'd as well. It was very cool. Maybe I can ult bot lane. I like it. I like it. Okay, got her flash. Is it good enough? Yeah, she's dead. Nice. Just have to place a ward here and then probably recall. Yeah, I will lose a lot mid lane. Oh, this all sucks a lot. This all really sucks. This all really, really sucks. I thought Pike might know this E. If he knew that E, I would have had to pop my ghost. Oh, this all sucks a lot, because Bran... Uh, we can't get Drake either. Yeah, maybe that ult was not the greatest. I didn't think 
Kaiser would deal so much damage to me. And maybe that old butling kind of sucked. Because we don't get Drake for it. I lose minions mid. I lose a plate mid. Brand has to go cover. Like, we lose so much tempo for that kill on the Kaiser. We did get her flash though. So maybe it's worth it because it means that I can regank her and maybe get Drake off of that regank. But I lost a lot to make that play happen. Like, a lot. Uh, I don't know where Pike is. I would love mid tower. But this is always scary to hit tower versus sack. It's always scary. Sack and Pike, it's just scary. I think with no cover and no one on the map, I will just leave. I will just leave and we will take Drake. Like, we will play the objective. Oh, I like this play. Wait, we did not turn this? Wait, why did we not turn it on sack? Ah, whatever. Maybe I can run bot lane. Guys, we have to make a decision here. Ah, this was poorly played, wasn't it? Maybe I can find the gold cut on her? She doesn't die for this! What are we doing, man? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Why are we doing Drake? We don't finish this Drake in any world, by the way. We have to look for a pick, because we will just lose the 5v5. Like, we will absolutely lose the 5v5. I'm playing Twisted Fate, man. You think I do anything in a 5v5? <laughs> Against Frontline? Absolutely not. And we have Ezreal as well, who is also weak right now. Like, we have to look for a pick. And then we can look to turn afterwards. Or look to do Drake afterwards. But yeah, this was just... It was not, not very well played, is all I'm gonna say. This guy is dead too. It's a bit of a suka mucho. Diana has killing spree now. Yeah, I will go catch bot wave, I guess. Estrel should start running mid. I, can, I mean, at least I can pressure the side. The problem is, it's kind of difficult for me to pressure side against uh, Ash, or not Ash, sorry, Sack and Pike. Just because they have stealth and they can come from out of nowhere, right? So if I get caught by something, I'm just dead. Like, Diana is not that big of a problem in the 1v1 for me, I don't think. Uh, I don't think she has enough damage to kill me. The problem is just... Sack and Pike. I will clear these wards. Someone has to go catch this wave. Maybe I can get a ward in the tri brush. They're on the top side. I don't think I necessarily killed the Kaiser 1v1 here. I will still run mid, but I don't think I kill her. Oh, I hate that my Olaf is not coming. I'm pretty sure she beats me 1v1. I don't think she should ult though. I mean, I'll just ult out. Clear the wave. Leave. Refuses to elaborate. Giga Chad. I will just recall. I mean, I got her ult. I hate the way we're playing this. This guy doesn't even kill him, does he? We'll drop a mid tower as well. Oh, wow. yeah, this will be a hard game for sure. This will be a really hard game. This will be a... not the cannon as well, man. Oh, this will be a hard game. I have to make some magic happen. Like, this is gonna be such a hard game. Twisted Fate does not really carry through damage, right? I needed to carry through snowballing my team, and I didn't do that well enough, sadly. Very, very sad. Maybe I can look for this guy. Nice, fountain. I didn't snowball it enough. I didn't... I should have snowballed the game a lot more. I should have roamed a lot more. Kinda sucks. I mean, I will throw a gold card at him and he will E it. But it's fine, I get his E. His E has longer cooldown than my gold card. So now that will be a window, I think. I'm trying to bait this so hard. Like, I want them to go on me. Understand this. Like, this should be a good fight. But we're so late. We're so late. We're so late. We're so late. We're so late on the play. Like, they have to be there instantly. As soon as I get jumped on, there has to be some form of follow-up from my team. But also, maybe they're just too far away and they can't do it, in which case it's my bad, right? But I thought we were in a position to make that work, for sure. Like, I thought I would get jumped here and there would immediately be a Sejuani dash in. Immediately be a brand full combo. And whoever jumps in on me is just dead. But, yeah, that... 
clearly was not how that worked. I, it's, I should alt that? Like, what do you want me to alt, bro? Like, what? What is there even to alt there? Harold is just gone. I'm moving into death cap next, just because we're not gonna win this game through picks, I don't think. I mean, I would love to alt this, but I don't think... Uh, I don't think we kill, necessarily, but I'm down for the play. I kinda like it. It's kind of a cool play, I guess. Problem is just no damage, right? It's good gold cut. Maybe go here. She has to die. Nice. Good play. Ah, oh, Sergio, how do you die? Hmm. I think Kaiser should die and I should live. But maybe not. Uh, it's not. Oh my god. <laughs> Ezreal man hit a single skill shot! Bye bye. It's nice knowing you, I guess. What is going on, man? I will sell this for this. Go into debt. Love some debt. We have to get Drake here. If we if they get Drake here, we're fucked. Guys, don't push mid. Go contest Drake. Oh no, guys, please, man. Blue trigger this instantly. Come on, man. Okay, they're not on it. We just have to get this Drake. Have to get this Drake. Have to get this Drake because they have. They are so tanky, like the enemy team. Just pull it out. I don't hate this idea. We don't have smite though, so. No, it's just guys, but. Oh no. Oh, it's huge, Brandol. Oh my God, Brand is smurfing. Oh, there's no way we still lose, right? I spaced backwards. I spaced this really bad. I spaced this really, really bad. I don't know if it matters, but it was so poorly spaced by me. We got the stun on him. We should get Sedger stun as well. Okay, well we can Nash. I think Nash is good. Why does he die? For fun or what? Well, now we have to Drake. No, we can't even Drake because Olaf is going top! Oh, the game's actually fucking over. <laughs> yeah, you think we have damage for Drake, bro? Good one. But our Olaf is chilling topside, man. We don't have damage. But maybe we can kill Diana here? Maybe there's a play to be made? But they have Scuttle? Nah, there's just not. There's just nothing. There's just nothing. There's just nothing. Yeah, Olaf is top lane. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna contest this. I have to go push one more mid wave, and then maybe we can use the mid pressure to get something. But this is really tough. Like, I have to just push this wave. Maybe someone will catch it. Oh, not the Kenode, man. Oh, no, we're just... It's just not pretty, is it? Like, we have to wait for our Olaf and Ezreal. We have to stall it somehow. I think taking the mid wave actually did stall it. By the way. And my Q does damage, if it hits. Kind of means it has to hit. I'm kind of scared. Of... What, did, what did you just do? What did, what did that guy just do? Yeah, maybe we just take blue buff then. Cool. Sure, I will go snack on a blue buff. I don't mind. But now Drake is gone. I will just take wolves as well, I guess. The problem is I'm not on a hyper carry champ, so... I don't think it matters that I take all of these resources. I think enemy team will just go do Baron now. I will just recall for my death cap and maybe it will be enough. We have Brand, so like Nash is kind of scary for them. But man, this is... I guess I go rapid fire next. This guy is just gonna die, isn't he? I have ult though. Oh my god, this guy is just faker or what? Red card for the damage buff. Huge. They have to know that I'm coming here. Oh, Diana is still bot lane. We cannot Nash, by the way. We cannot Nash. It's just impossible. It's just impossible to Nash here, by the way. She has no cleanse, so I would love to flash on her. They're gonna look for a mid lane play here from the right side, so I have to move towards the left side. Mm. I would love to make a play bot side. <laughs> what is controlling Nash gonna do here? 
have to just at least get access to the midway first. Okay, I mean, we can shove midway. It's not a bad idea. I don't have ult, so I don't really want to side lane that much. And we don't have TP on Olaf. But maybe there's a play to be made where I can catch the Diana or something. I mean, we just take Vision around mid lane. It's good. Maybe we can look for picks. Oh. Dude, they have so many wards, it feels like. But maybe I can sit here. Lovely. Love that out of you, bro. That's big. Blue card for the boys. Another blue card for the boys. Oh. Well, I kind of hate that. Would have been cool if Olaf moved up, but it's fine. I have to go defend topside. I can move into Magi's if I really want to for the extra movement speed, but I fear I might just be getting dove here, by the way. So I think I will just pick up Zeal. I think this guy can dive me. I should be able to just one-shot her, though. She has no uh, exhaust now. Nice, that's good. Maybe that's good enough for Nash? Perhaps? I don't want to run into this guy, because he will just murder me. Oh. He kind of fucked that up. How poorly was that played by that guy, by the way? The way he's supposed to play that is... <laughs> he's supposed to just dodge my gold card, jump on me and run me down. And I have to flash, but he will just instantly press um, alt on me. Or instantly press alt and I don't kill him either. I mean, I could recall here. I don't hate the recall, but I would like to just do Baron actually. Yeah, but what can I do, man? Oh, if that was a gold card. I think he was dead. I got unlucky though. Wait, really? Wait, I don't kill you? I just tickle him or what? He lives as well. Oh, he dies. Oh, guys, please don't fight. Please don't fight. Please just, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Guys, please just... <gasps> Begging! Please wait, man! No, Ezra, why are you walking in? Why are we losing 1v1 top lane to Kaiser with no exhaust? Oh, no. Man, no. Oh, it's all falling apart. Oh. Brand dealt a lot of damage. Well, that blows, doesn't it? That is, uh, that is a dodgy situation, I think. That's not how that build goes, bro. That's not how that build works. That's... <laughs> oh, man. That's not how that build works, dude. It's... It's... It's not how it works. Oh, I think I will go catch bot wave. Oh, no. Uh, that's... This... Uh, can you read, man? We have to go for a Drake. Olaf needs to not run top lane here. If I die here, the game is just lost, but uh, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Could go Magi's here, but I don't think I have enough time to go pick it up, sadly. I'd love to buy it though. Well, I guess I pick up blue buff here and we just pray it will matter. Oh no, Estril took it. Oh, we're just dead or what? Love that out of him. Get vision, make sure we're not getting flanked. And can we kill this guy? Look at him. Look at this fool! Oh no. This is not pretty. <laughs> Why did we play it like this? Why did we go forward? Why did we go forward? We could kill Jax and it was free? Fuck a jungle gap? Shit, true. Actually. I think we needed to be very far ahead to win with players like that, I'll be honest. But I could have done more early, for sure. But I think... I mean, obviously there's also moments where I shouldn't die. If I don't die mid lane, maybe there's a world where we win this. 
right? Like, I had some bad deaths this game, but... Oh. It should have been a free win regardless. Like, even if I played like this, it should just be a free win. If we had human beings on our team, but... It was Diamond 1 on EUNE, so, you know, that's how it goes. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and have a good one. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.